Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our February BoxyCharm base box. So today we'll be unboxing the variation we got as well as trying on a couple of the products to create a makeup look. So if you guys want to see any of that and more, just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And with that being said, let's get straight on it. Don't give a hell, paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars in the night. Before we get started, I do just want to mention really quickly any disclaimers, timestamps, other ways to connect with me, as well as product links and product referrals or affiliate links. All that will be mentioned down in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of that, check it out. If you guys are not familiar with BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription box. Today we are sharing the base box and we are a little late. As you guys know, we're already in March. Um, I did get to unbox this on Instagram, but I didn't get to try it on for you guys. So if you're interested, stay tuned. For the BoxyCharm base box, you get five full-size products monthly. It retails for $28 a month. There are also some shipping and handling fees, so do keep that in mind. With the BoxyCharm base box, you get to choose one product at your box every month that you know you'll be receiving. You just log into your account on choice day and you pick your product. Because these boxes are gifted to me for PR, I don't get to select and do that. I don't have a choice every month. They just send me the best of the month one of the variations of the best of the month so keep that in mind and let's jump so into again it. this is our base box 28 dollars a month with five full-size products this is how the box looks when you open it up usually get a pamphlet but also do note boxycharm and ipsy are gonna be merging in april so now all these subscriptions are under one subscription it is a little bit confusing but if you guys are interested i'll definitely have that noted in my next video i recently got my base box and luxe box which will be the final boxycharm boxes with just boxycharm alone starting in april again they will be merging so the boxes won't just be called the base box or the glam bag um again i'll let you guys know in my next video so if you guys are interested in that make sure you hit that bell so i can let you guys know a little bit more about that when we post our base and luxe box. So the theme of the month of February, cause again, we are late, is treat your heart out. Now, usually there are like product details on the back. I believe this was supposed to be like a promo box slash of course the base box. So you should be receiving some of these items, but it says nothing on the back just to let you guys know. Now they did post on their Instagram that they will be merging when this box was sent. They didn't have it posted yet, so everything was just like a big surprise. See, it says epic news is coming. We've got something epic in the works, and we can't wait to tell you all about it. So yes, that is the merge now. Um, again, we'll talk more about that another time. The first product we're going to be pulling out the box and trying on is the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Put-In Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. And honestly, I'm going to say off back that this palette i did check it out to do my instagram unboxing reel it's not giving me valentine's day vibes there are a lot of neutrals which you know of course can be done on valentine's day but it's just for me calling easter lots of easter here some of the products in here i do feel cater more towards valentine's day or like the love month but um this one i'm not sure about on the back it says are you all talk or do you get things done this palette with matte shimmers and more is for the sweethearts who need that final push to be who they believe they can be and do the very thing they were afraid of if i had taken any step differently than i did there would be no beauty bakery but i challenged myself to own my past and my setbacks just as much as i own my future the proof is in the pudding you got to be willing to create what you want to see in this world. You and you alone have that power to do that. Love always. Cashmere Beauty Bakery CEO and founder. I like how they put that on the back. That's really cute. And I love the story of Beauty Bakery. I actually haven't used too many Beauty Bakery products. I like the colors, but I get so many like neutral palettes that it's not like super amazing to me right now. But we're going to go ahead and try out the pigments because I have tried i believe i believe last month we did try beauty bakery palette and i didn't like it that much um i feel like the colors were a little patchy so i'm hoping i really like this one 
I do wish there was a mirror in here. I just feel like palettes are so much better with mirrors. I'm a mirror girl. I need a mirror so that way when I'm doing my makeup, I can see what I'm doing. And this is just, it's throwing me off here. It's throwing me off. But we still gonna try it because it's a cute little palette. So the first shade we're gonna jump into is Mango Pudding. And we're gonna use that for our crease shade. Next shade I want to take is Warm Cocoa, and we're going to also use that on our crease, but we're not going to drag it up like how we did with the Mango Pudding shade. Jumping back into Mango Pudding, which is that first shade we used, very lightly on a new brush, I'm just going to smoothen out both colors now jumping into spiced caramel we're going to use that to fill in our lid only halfway now i'm going to jump into chia pudding and we're going to use that to finish off the eye but we're not going to bring it all the way to the outer v because we're going to leave that deep dark and smoky we're just gonna blend it a little bit on the lid right next to that other shimmer color we used. Jumping back into the shade that we used for the outer V, which was the warm cocoa shade, we're just gonna again deepen out that outer V. I'm also going to go back into Spiced Caramel, which is that first shimmer color we used, and I'm going to apply that on the brow bone. Now, just to soften any edges, I'm using a beauty blender and just tapping away any excess and to help sharpen the lines. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, add some liner and maybe some waterline color and I'll be right back, we'll jump into the next product. Okay guys, so we're back, we've got the winged liner on, we got the brightener on, I did add a couple other products as well. If you guys are interested in full product details, I'll make sure to have that over on my Instagram channel, so make sure you follow me there at Midnight Moon Makeup. When this video goes live on the same day, there will be a post on Instagram with, again, the full product details. Now we're jumping into our next product. Next product up is the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Magnet Mascara. So this is how it looks. I have never tried any other mascara, so this is really dope. So I can't wait. Let's go ahead and try it. So this is supposed to be a lifting and lengthening mascara. It gives extreme length, powerful lift, 40% longer lashes. The brush is an extender brush with magnetically charged core to draw lashes out to extreme lengths. So I'm gonna show you guys the wand because it does tell you a little bit about it. Um, and then it has like a zigzag uh, bristle brush. It also says it won't smudge or flake and it's 36 hour worth of lengthening. I'm not sure how many shades this comes in, but we got the shade Supercharged Black. So pretty, so luxury. I'm here for it. So this is the one side with the mascara and the one side without. I think this mascara did an amazing job. Um, Again, this is not a curling mascara, so I personally just like to curl my lashes before any mascara application, so do keep that in mind. But this definitely does lift compared to a lot of mascara that I've tried that say they lift and they don't do as much lifting as this. I'm really surprised in this. I didn't think it was going to do as good of a job as it did. Um, if you guys can see the lashes even pop over my liner, which is something you usually can't see. Um, on this side, you can't see it at all, even though I did curl my lashes and that would help, but I'm, I'm here for this mascara. Even the lower lash line looks really nice. It's not a volumizing mascara, definitely not, 
but lengthening and lifting oh i'm here for it all right babies we're about to jump into our last few products we have one makeup product left so i did just finish off my face off camera again product details on my channel at midnight moon makeup on instagram so the third product in our base box is the give them lala beauty lipstick um i think it's a liquid lipstick i'm not 100 sure here we go so i believe this is the lala hydro matte lipstick and it's in the shade Booty Call. I did use a brown liner because this is kind of light for my skin tone. But again, this is gifted to me in PR, so we gonna make it work. Again, there is your packaging up close. That's how it looks. Let me open up the box. The packaging of the actual tube is really cute. Top where the wand is, it has like this kind of marbleized effect, if you guys can see that. And then it has like a matte finish on the glass part. So I think that's really nice. It does have a smell, but nothing strong and nothing like really weird. It smells kind of sweet, but it smells like a lip product at the same time. So I can't really explain it. It's hard to, but if you guys know what I mean, then you know. This is how your wand looks. It looks like it gives good application. So let's just go ahead and try it now. And we're just gonna apply a little bit just at the base right here and then blend it out it's actually blending really easy and it feels really nice on the lips very comfortable it's silky soft as i'm like doing that and as it's drying down you can see it's giving that mattifying effect it's not making the lips look cracked and again it still feels really comfortable I don't like to blot like that you can also just take a brush and lightly blend it out just like that now on to our last two products in this box and then we'll just give a recap and final review of the products as well as the value this month now because this box doesn't have all the pricing on the pamphlet on the card that we usually get i am gonna do that after this video and then if you guys are interested in the full value of the box and my thoughts on the value you guys can go in the description box so this below. is the final look guys i'm loving it really really loving it i didn't think it was gonna actually come out this good and it did so i'm here for it i'm here for it you guys know i love colors so neutrals i feel like are always funny to work with with me because i'm always trying to do some type of colorful look um even when i do my neutral looks i do them like extra glam so this is just like really simple for me but you know we got to do simple here on the channel too for the beginners so i really do like how the look came out especially that liquid lipstick um we'll get to my thoughts in a minute and we're also going to do a recap on the box but before we do that we're going to talk about the last two products in this box so the fourth product we're pulling out the box is the la palette beauty vita yellow fresh cleanser i hope i said that right i probably didn't um but this is the packaging super cute super fresh springtime vibes and just to let you guys know a little bit about this this is synthetic fragrance free phenyl oxal phenyl free benzo phenyl three free and paraben free skin irritant test completed it's supposed to be a one-step cleanser that helps to make your skin shine and glow by delivering vitality and energy to the tired skin with philanthius umbilica extract and pure vitamin c not sure if i said that right but i'll have the words in here somewhere if i didn't say it right it also has a 88 percent moisturizing essence and ingredients if we open it up this is how the packaging looks again very springtime very colorful i'm here for it this is so cute so i can't wait to try this if you guys got your hands on this already and have tried it let me know in the comments what you thought about it and now on to our last product in our base box this is the better skin co eye bright now anti-puff anti-dark circle serum i don't really use too many serums for my eyes so this is new this is definitely something i'll be using soon um just to try it out and see how it works i do use eye creams but not really serums too much. The packaging is really cute. I love the purple on it. Now we're gonna jump into our recap of what we got in the box and my final thoughts. Before we do that, I'm gonna give you guys a little close up of the look.
Now on to our recap. Again, the base box comes with five products. First product we got is the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding palette. Now this palette, I like it. I really do. I love the look we created. At first I wasn't too sure about it because as we were putting the colors on, everything was blending beautifully. The pigments go on really nice compared to the other palette that I tried. I didn't like the other one too much because it was a little patchy. Um, the shimmers went on, but they didn't go on too well. When you use the brush, you were able to use a brush for the top layer, but then once you really started digging into it, you really had to like dig in with your finger and apply it. This one is not like that. This one, I was able to use a brush and actually build it up without it being like it's moving around or anything like that. So I really, really am enjoying this palette. But again, for color story, it has some nice colors, nice shades that I don't really typically find in some palettes, but it's very neutral for me. I have a lot of neutral palettes. If you're not into makeup too much, then this is probably a great palette to start with. And even if you are and you don't have any, have many neutral palettes, then definitely check this one out. I love how this one performs. So for the recap, we have the Give Them Lala Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This is the Hydro Matte Lipstick. And I, I love this stuff. I honestly really do. I think this is going to be my new favorite um lippy for like an ombre look like how i did here with the liner and then just adding that little bit of lighter color to the lip for more of a, like a softer plumper effect this performs very well i love how it feels on the lips even after a few minutes of it drying down it's probably been about 10 15 minutes now since i've put this on it still feels really 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 super comfortable on the lips it doesn't feel like it's drying or cracking or caking up or anything like that it performs beautifully with the lip liner underneath it and it blends beautifully even with that lip liner so i'm really 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 enjoying this lippy first product we had was the benefit cosmetics their real magnet mascara honestly love this stuff love 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 one of my new favorite mascaras i literally have a drawer full of mascaras no lie guys stacked up drawer full of mascaras i definitely have to say this is one of my new favorite mascaras I love volume, I love drama, I do love length and curl and all that good stuff, um, but of course it also depends on the day and how you're feeling, but this stuff is really going to be a go-to mascara for me. I love how it really does add lift and really lengthens, which I have already long lashes, but I love how it adds that little bit of extra length, um, and honestly, if I was to stack this up a little bit more, I did do two layers, uh, I think it would still perform beautifully. I didn't have any clumping and everything looks really nice. It works beautifully as a uh, lower lash line mascara as well. Then we had the Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser, which again, we didn't try. Um, we won't be trying anytime soon with all the loads of cleansers we have. And the Better Skin Co. Eye Bright Now Eye Serum, which is an anti-puff and anti-dark circle serum. Haven't tried it yet. Will be soon. If you guys are interested in that, I will upload it here as a short. I will also have it on my Instagram. Again, Midnight Moon Makeup. Follow me there. So that was it for the recap. Honestly, off bat, I can say that I really did enjoy this box. I wasn't too, too super excited about the palette. I do, again, love how it performed. Love how I was able to create this look and everything. But just not something that I would personally just go out and purchase because I have so many neutral palettes already. Again, I'd have to say my favorite products in this box would have to be the mascara. Between the mascara and the lippy, favorite two, absolutely obsessed. I, again, I'm not sure on value, so I'll have all that uh, listed as we go through this video. And I'll also have it down in the description box below to let you know my thoughts on the value. But I honestly can say, like I say in every single other video, that the value is always going to be there. It's always going to be worth it because you're not paying as much as you would pay in store for these products. With that being said, let me know guys if you have tried any of these products, got this variation or any of the products in my variation for February. Again, this video is late going out, but we gotta try the products. That's what we here for. So if you love trying products, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so we can try more products together. Again, we have a lot coming in this month. We also have our Kiss Pro New York boxes. So stay tuned, stay tuned. If you guys did enjoy the video, please show your support. Give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with friends and family. Also leave a comment and let me know if you got any other products in our variation today. 
and if you guys have tried any of these products let me know your thoughts on them let me know if you liked this look again again we just we gotta give it up that lippy was gorgeous anyway that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed as always you guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are keep on thriving in a world of beauty and i'll see you guys back here in my next video later babes